Hey guys! So today is going to be a sketch -a day video because I just felt like chilling and relaxing for a little bit and just drawing. I really encourage you to do sketch -a days if you like to doodle and just draw in your free time. It is so relaxing and I've been inspired by Tumblr lately of course. I'm serious, whatever type of octopusy picture is on Tumblr, that sounds really dirty. I mean octopus like you find in the ocean. Yeah. I will definitely like it on Tumblr because I could draw octopus for days. I love the little tentacles. So today's drawing is going to be just that, octopus inspired. We'll have to see what happens. So let's get on with the drawing. So the reason why I felt like drawing octopus lately, I've been obsessed with this TV show called River Monsters. It's this guy who kind of looks like if Obama was a different nationality and if he was like, had the spirit of the crocodile hunter with a really crazy accent that I'm not sure where it's from. No, I'm sure it's from the UK, which makes it a lot less crazy. Because whenever you have an English accent, you just sound more proper and smart and people want to listen to you usually. So this Obama lookalike travels around the world and finds these giant monster fish. Sometimes he discovers brand new species, like one time he found this pink dolphin. Freshwater dolphin. I am not joking. It was pink, like albino-ish. And it lived in the freshwater and it had like razor sharp teeth and it was so cool. I don't know why I'm so intrigued by shows like this. I think it's because when I was a wee little person, semi-child, I would sit at my grandma's house all day and eat food till literally I got sick to my stomach and was puking on the way home, but that's a different story. But while I was eating all the food that was in my sight, just inhaling everything like that monster from Spirited Away, no face, yeah, that, that was me. Except my face was real and it was really big and sweaty and oily and greasy from the food I ate. And I would sit there with my grandpa because he liked food too and we could talk about food all day. Probably due to my obsession with Paula Deen lately. We would sit around and watch like National Geographic shows about like otters and seals a lot. When you know the shows where it's like Morgan Freeman or Oprah or someone with a really interesting, deep, awesome voice. Yeah, we would watch shows like with those people narrating it. I don't know why that made it just more interesting and intriguing, but that's why I kind of wanted to do like a monster of the deep type drawing. And I did like this octopus in the background, like trying to get a hold of this deep sea diver. And I've been obsessed with this app game lately. Wait one second. Let me just go get it and try to figure out what the name of it is. You get so like attached to something, sometimes you forget what it's called. Little heads up, don't get an iPad if you expect to be productive in life, but the app is called Hungry Shark. Oh my gosh, don't get the Jaws app because that was supposedly, like I thought it was going to be good. It's not. Get Hungry Shark. It's addicting and I don't know why. It's really good and fun. So I think this drawing that was a mashup inspiration of my childhood Tumblr and just random crazy things came out pretty cool. I like the evil octopus trying to grab hold of someone. It's kind of a cool nightmare thing. Like literally the last time I drew something that was crazy like this on sketch -a days I literally had nightmares of it where I was like being eaten by a mouth. I got nightmares from that. But this came out cool. So I hope you guys liked my little ink drawing of the monster of the deep type thing. And what I would like to know today is what was your last nightmare about if you could remember? Because the last one I remember was the one that was really crazy about the sketch day I did, like I said, where my face was in the mouth. I don't know why. I had really bad nightmares from that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will definitely be seeing you soon. And I love you all. Bye. I'm going to make the top part of the Cheshire cat eye. Try to make this as intricate as possible. And I'm going to do it on the other side. I think I started laughing a little bit in between takes because I looked like a real hardcore chola.